With the world economy still recovering from recession, the specter of inflation at home, the pressures of trying to maintain an 8% plus growth rate, and trying to balance the compulsions of coalition politics makes Finance Minister Pranab Mukherjee one of the busiest and most influential ministers in this government, which is why we are very grateful that he's taken our time to talk to us. Thanks very much indeed, sir. Thank you very for much talking to us. for so many adjectives. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all, all uh, duly deserved. Uh, you had said earlier this month at our uh, Profit Business Leadership Awards that we are doing about 8 to 8.5% growth and you expect to hit 9% by next year. What makes you confident of that? Because the growth scenario which is being unfolded now and the first quarter growth scenario is available, mm. there you have noticed all the important ingredients, they have started moving up. Industry is having, particularly the manufacturing sectors, yes. are having double-digit growth. That's right, about 14 to 15 percent. 14 to 15 percent. Yeah. And that is very important because it has higher weightage. Agriculture is also having important higher weightage in the overall basket. And from the negative contribution of the previous year, yes. it has started coming up. Though not to the extent, because we projected for having the balanced growth, mm. agriculture's contribution should not be less than 4%. Though right now it's at around 2%, so that's something two, two which and is a, a half a it will be varying yeah. like that. So, but it is positive. That is, do, you have a, do you have a timeline or do you have a, a, a figure or a date for 9%? Are you looking at a rough time? No, my projection in the budget was mm. that for the year 2010-11, we projected 8.5 to 8.75%. I am sticking to that position, though when it reached the first quarter figure 8.8 percent, mm. I maintained in my response to the queries from the media persons right. that I am sticking to the figure of 8.5 plus. Okay. So I am sticking to that figure. You are still sticking to uh, that. And there is no reason to change it because the trends which have been available you are saying suggests that it's we are heading in that direction. Let me, Mr. Mukherjee, bring up some of the challenges yeah. that that come up uh, when you are trying to reach that figure. And the first, obviously, is inflation, and we've already seen the RBI uh, hiking rates. Does industry have a legitimate cause to be worried when that happens? That that could actually be Infl one of the inflation. One of the inflation is always a matter of concern in any developing country because inflation hits the poorest hard. Yeah. Therefore, always in our developmental efforts, it has been a constant exercise to keep the inflation at a moderate level, at a tolerable level. But at the same time, it is also a balancing job to control inflation by tight monetary policy at the cost of growth mm. is also not desirable. So, it's a, a balance is to be, act. very delicate balance is to be maintained. And the second part of dealing with the inflation, that even if we cannot uh, control the rate of inflation, rate of prices moving upwards, at least we can protect the vulnerable sections of the society yes. by providing, through the public distribution system, subsidized food grains and couple of other essential commodities. Mr. Bukherjee, I want to actually, yeah. these two point strategy is there. One is to ensure that inflation is contained at a tolerable level, at a moderate level, mm. without sacrificing the growth. And at the same time, you to protect to the vulnerable sections of the society, to have the, public the ad distribution administrative system. mechanism of public distribution system making it more effective and deliverable. 